What's going on, family? I hope you guys are having a great day. This is the first video of the series that we are doing on the mower build. Now, what this is, is it's a mud mower build that I have picked up. First, I decided I was going to buy a mower to do racing with. But then I seen these guys in Canada that do mud mowers and they lift them, they ride them through the mud, the snow and everything. So that's what we got here. Now this is a voiceover because when I recorded this video, I had a new mic set up on it and you could actually hear me breathing. I thought about posting it, but it just sounded terrible. So I'm just going to do a quick voiceover. So if everything I'm saying does not go with my hand gestures and all, that is why. So the first mower I picked up was free. It was from a guy I work with. I told him I was wanting to do this and he said he had, I had a free mower I could get. So I went and got it, but it does not run. The wiring was all messed up and everything. So I stripped it down and then was trying to get an idea of what I wanted to do exactly. Well, while I was doing that, I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace one day and I found this mower. Same deal for free. The, like I said, the only difference is, is the motor. This one's a 16 horsepower. The other one is an 18, but this one was free except the transmission's locked up. So with the motors being different, it kind of changes what I want to do. But my plan was get this one running. I'll take the transmission out of the one that's tore down, put it in this one, get this one running and drivable, build the frame on this one over here in the corner. And then from there, I can focus on each build and then put it all together on one frame and then possibly make a second one or I'll just have extra parts. The plan is to paint it purple and then I have an accent color. Uh, I'll post a picture up of what I'm going to be doing, but we're going to do aftermarket shifter, steering wheel, straight pipe it, uh, aftermarket cold air intake. There's a lot that's going to go into this and I just plan on posting videos on it as we're going through it. I've got a lot of experience in automotive mechanics and auto body. I've done a good amount of custom fabrication, but I've never done a mower build. So I figured this would be a cool project to take on and let's just do together. So there's a lot that's gonna change throughout this process of me doing this, but I'm gonna post the whole step of the way. That way, you know, maybe make some cool content. Maybe some guys can learn some stuff and I should be able to provide you guys with some information in case this is something you guys decide to take on. So the plan right now is to get the transmission out of the other one and put it in this one get this one running, and then we can start modifying the frame on the one that's tore down. After I get the frame built with the lift and the arms and the steering and all done, then we can paint the body, swap everything over, and then we'll have a good running mower. So it's kind of nice that I have two frames, two motors, two everything, because I can get, like I said, this one running, and then I can actually get the other one built because we do have to do some custom fab on how we're gonna get the lift kit how we're gonna get it to get up to the speed we want, get the clearance we need and everything like that. As far as the chassis goes, I'm gonna show you guys right here how jacked up the steering is. Um, so the axle is held on by one bolt, which is right here in the middle. And we've got to basically notch this where we have a straight bar and a 45. But with that, we do have to adjust the steering. The steering that's on it right now is just not gonna work. It's super wear out it's just not a great design so after watching a few videos i kind of have an idea of what we're going to do here but it can change so what it's got right now is that when you turn the steering wheel it moves this gear as you can see right here which then pushes this shaft which is super loose it's just held on by a cotter pin you can see the gap then that one pushes the shaft up here same deal it's super loose i mean you could literally stick i could stick my whole finger in it and then with that it pushes the tire and then that tire pushes this tire so we're gonna get that adjusted, figure out what to do there. We have a better steering situation, get the clearance we need up front, and then we're gonna come back to the rear. So the drivetrain might change on this. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, this is just some, some of the small things we're gonna run into that we have to figure out as we're doing this build. But where I'm at right now is I'm thinking we can space the transmission, adjust our pulley gap. That way we get more clearance and then we can put tractor tires on it or we can put the track tires on it, and if the sidewall and the tread's big enough that gives us the clearance we want, we'll leave it like that. But we might run into is we have to cut out the wheel wells right here above it. Not a big deal. Either one we can do, but these are just some of the things that we're going to have to figure out as we're doing this. I promise you guys there's going to be a lot of trial and error on this. A lot of custom fab, though, so it's going to be super cool. We're going to get it painted. This might be a year project, two-year project. I'm going to do it with any extra time I have. And hopefully we can get a really cool build out of this and then give you guys some good content. So if you like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below if you'd like to see anything else. I post every Wednesday and Sunday, everything from auto body to auto mechanics. And the mower build is going to be broke up into a bunch of different videos. So I will also post this in rotation with my regular videos. So like I said, guys, leave a like on the video, check out the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.